in on day one of GSR 17, and I'm talking now with Mahmoud El Gawini, a board member with the National Telecommunication Regula Regulatory Authority from Egypt. Great to have you in the Bahamas. Pleasure is mine. Your first time here? Very first, yes. Now, Hopefully not the last. How are you finding it so far? Outstanding. Yeah. I love the country. I love the people. It's just outstanding. Very glad to hear that. All right, so you were talking during your presentation about mobile money. Yes. Explain to us what that is. Okay. <clears throat> mobile money, mob mobiles have been used for the last so many years to make calls. You know, you get a call, you make a call. Then this developed into text messaging. Mm -hmm. And then it developed into internet, so there's mobile internet data usage. Mm -hmm. But these have been uh, services that are being offered since the last, whenever mobile, you know, in our country, in Egypt, for the last maybe 15 years. Mm -hmm. There has to be an innovation. I mean, there's always something new happening. So mobile money uh, is really uh, the talk of the community now in many countries of the world. Uh, we are probably not one of the first countries that started this service. Uh, you will be uh, uh, amazed enough to know that the very first countries that really started mobile money were in Africa. Mm -hmm. And one of the most popular uh, countries that has this service so much enhanced is Kenya. Wow. It's probably one of the top countries that really uses mobile money. So mm -hmm. mobile money is a feature whereby <clears throat> you pay your bills. You, you, you can pay your bill on, on an, uh, using a, a, a laptop or a computer. Mm -hmm. Now you can pay your bills using the mobile. So it's uh, not necessarily your own money in a bank account. It, uh, uh, actually, if you're paying a bill, you're using a credit card. Okay. It's like paying a bill with a mobile is like paying a bill using a laptop. Mm -hmm. But uh, to use the service with your own money, this is where you're transferring money to somebody mm -hmm. or receiving money from somebody. Mm -hmm. And this started with the idea of uh, people uh, going out of uh, a charge on their mobile mm -hmm. and they need to recharge. Mm -hmm. So instead of, say, for example, my daughter would call me and say, Daddy, would you, you know, charge my phone with $50 right. or something. Mm -hmm. Now I can send her money that she will receive and do the charging mm -hmm. herself. Or she could be stuck uh, somewhere and she's out of cash. Right. She can give me a call and I can transfer money to her and so right. on and so forth. So it's not necessarily something you could cash out. It's just, no. No, no not right. necessarily. Mm -hmm. Then again, you can cash out. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it will vary from one country to the okay. other. Right on how the application is made. Uh, in our case, uh, obviously there are banks involved, mm -hmm. but you, as a user, you're using your mobile outlet. Mm -hmm. You don't go to a bank, but you mm -hmm. go to your mobile outlet, you cash the money there, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Now you talked about unbankers, people yes. who don't have bank accounts, but this has been very popular with them. It's becoming popular. Mm -hmm. In Egypt, and in many similar countries, uh, people are more, um, uh, confident using cash. Uh -huh. uh, until actually recent years, you'd find someone more confident going to the mobile shop, paying the mobile bill, mm -hmm. and getting the receipt in his hand. He's more comfortable than the deal, the transaction has been done. Mm -hmm. But this, with educating ed education, would, uh, would change, and they will feel comfortable that the bill has been paid or he has made the transfer and the transaction was made. Mm -hmm. So the armed bankers are many who don't trust banks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like using All them. over the world, they, I it's, think. It's all over. Yeah. They just don't trust. I, mm -hmm. I do the transaction myself. Mm -hmm. I have the money in my hand. And this is changing. Mm -hmm. And mobile money has become a, a, a tool that people liked and mm -hmm. found is feasible. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't involve a lot of money. So slowly, slowly, it's growing. Yeah. In Egypt, is this being spearheaded by private companies or by the state? How, how does it work? No, no, it's private companies. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, as, we as the regulator, we set the rules. Mm -hmm. we, we regulate the telecommunication part of the uh, mobile money and the Central Bank of Egypt 
or, the, or, or Central Bank of various other countries would control the banking side. Uh, but it is, the operation is being done through the mobile operators, Vodafone, uh, Orange, Etisalat, the, the actual licensed operators. Mm -hmm. But they have to be licensed operators uh, by the regulator. Mm -hmm. And they have to be licensed banks by the Central Bank mm -hmm. of Egypt. It is not for anybody to just go and decide, you know, and I'm going to get into this business and you know, it right. has to be a licensed operator. Do you have any numbers as to how many people are taking advantage of it now? Yes, so we have uh, approximately, it's still, it's still new. Mm -hmm. So we have, a, we have a approximately 97 million mobile subscribers, okay. of which we have today around 7 million oh, yeah. using the service and counting. Yeah, it's, it's and pretty counting. good. It's been in effect, uh, I would say, four years. Okay. Excellent. Now, we were also talking about security. Um, have there been challenges, and, yes. and what are you doing to reduce the risk there? Okay. There are, there are uh, the stakeholders in, in, in this service are the mobile network operators and the mm -hmm. banks. Mobile network operators require, we, we, we as a regulator require them to make sure that the security and privacy of their customers is uh, intact. Uh, that they have a uh, reliable uh, service, that they uh, provide good quality service. But the banking side is the important one because you want to make sure that this service is not being used for money laundering, mm -hmm. financing terrorism, and fraud. Mm -hmm. So banks really implement the banking rules that they put on the banks to avoid money laundering and and, 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 and financing uh, terrorism and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. That is an extremely, extremely important issue. Right. Has it been much of a challenge or how are we doing so far? Well, so far we have, uh, uh, for money laundering, there is no much opportunity mm -hmm. because the transfers of money is local currency. Right. So there's no mm -hmm. laundering of anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that those who are using the service must open accounts at the uh, mobile outlets. Mm -hmm. So they have to show their IDs and there is a good check, background check on them. Mm -hmm. And the banks sort of, uh, we don't monitor their personal uh, accounts, but we monitor, they monitor their usage mm -hmm. to make sure that, and, and, and for the time being, we're not allowing uh, extensive amounts of money mm -hmm. until there is good education in the market right. uh, for the service. So, so, so far, there is nothing yeah. uh, to worry about. What do you think the future holds? Where, where do you see this in five, ten years? No, I see it uh, growing tremendously, mm -hmm. and I see it uh, transferring like you're transferring money around the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to boom. No, mm -hmm. Digital financial services in general, which includes mobile money, e-commerce, uh, e-money, you know, there is the E of everything. Right. Digitization is an E of everything. It's going to boom. Mm -hmm. Information and communication technology is now involved in every mm -hmm. aspect of our lives. Do you think this is the beginning of the end of cash as we know it? Yes. Yes. To a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would say to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. To a certain extent. Yeah. yeah. Exciting times. Mm -hmm. Mahmoud El Gawini, thank you so much. My pleasure. And enjoy your time in the Bahamas. Thank you very much.